Hello and welcome to Teachings in Education. This video will introduce several different teaching strategies for students with dyscalculia. One of the best methods for getting students engaged with mathematics is to have math lessons related to real world application. Another teaching strategy is to incorporate math word walls into your classroom. Students may get confused with words like terms, coefficients, degree, exponents, etc. and so forth. When teaching word problems involving area, perimeter, be sure to draw out the diagrams for the students. This will help them better visualize and understand the problem. Students with dyscalculia will benefit from teachers that emphasize key concepts. For example, teachers may want to stress changing the sign of inequalities when dividing by negative numbers. Most students with this disability are afforded calculators as accommodation. They should also be taught how to actually use these calculators. Although some teachers don't believe in cooperative learning, there is research that supports its effectiveness. Allow these students to benefit from working with their peers. One of the best methods is to use concrete instruction. Concrete instruction should be taught before moving on to abstract mathematics ideas. Diagnostic testing is very beneficial because it will help identify some of the glaring gaps that these students with this disability will have with various concepts. These students need a sort of problem solving strategies toolkit to help them be successful. Cubes is one example. For math exams, worksheets, and quizzes, teachers should highlight words like not that may confuse students. Teachers can highlight concepts on study guides as well. Math fact charts can also make a difference for students with dyscalculia. The fact chart may have formulas, acronyms such as PEMDIS. Teachers should try to give test taking students extra time and not just for exams, but for classwork and homework assignments as well. Teachers should try to instill metacognitive strategies in these students to help them succeed. These strategies include self-assessing and self-regulation. As a way to scaffold instruction for these children, teachers may want to provide step-by-step -step guides or guided notes. Flowcharts can be used to outline the step-by-step -step procedures in solving a variety of different math problems. Have students create their own flowcharts as well. Students with dyscalculia need further engagement. A great strategy, and this is for all students, is to ask stimulating questions. Providing graph paper for these children may further help them understand the coordinate pair relationship, linear equations, reflections, and more. Lastly, number line calculators really help out for students that struggle understanding positive and negative numbers, adding and subtracting, and greater than or less than comparisons. Right now, I want to thank you for your time. Please check the description for resources related to dyscalculia. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the thumbs up button.